Alrighty, welcome to round two highlights where the MPO field has moved from the shorter birdie fest to the longer technical innova course. Leading off the show, Calvin Heimberg, AKA the Heimburglar, has been stealing hearts and minds of fans all over with his big arm and smooth stroke. Hole four, I had probably like a 40 foot uh, kind of death putt. I was left with the pin and uh, had a headwind, ran that and made it. And that kind of kickstarted uh, my round. I felt pretty confident at that point. And well deserved confidence it was. Here's Heimberg on the 387 foot par three hole 13, skipping it out and it's part. It's a little surprising, but I mean, I have been putting in a lot of work this off season, so it's not super surprising. Um, feel really confident and most aspects of my game right now, so I'm glad to see it showing out here against, you know, the best in the world. Calvin with no fear here on the gallery late in 18. His upshot is perfect, setting it six feet from the pin as he taps in the birdie three. Meanwhile, halfway down the field, sitting in 50th place after round one, Nate Sexton was here to play. I played really solid. I haven't had a chance to look at the scores yet, but um, yeah, man, just uh, trying to remember to throw hard. My main major mistakes yesterday were just kind of being a little bit tentative first tournament of the year in the cold weather and letting some discs get out of bounds when I need to commit to them to get them to flip over a little bit. So made that adjustment today. I uh, was really throwing the disc hard and throwing well and uh, just kept reminding myself, throw hard, throw hard, throw hard. And when I do that, usually good things happen. And good things did happen. Sexton would jump 46 spots all the way to lead card. Lurking as well, Austin Hannum after the rough finish at Wintertime Open was all business here on the Innova course. I actually kind of look forward to wind. I definitely enjoy playing in the wind more than a lot of other people do. While the wind was affecting his circle 1x putting, you can see the park percentage is what did it. He was leading the field with 36% of the holes parked. Rounding out our lead card, heading into round three, Josh Anton got off to a hot start. Here nearly acing hole one in route two four for four start with big putts like these. Josh, known for his putter, was dialed all day, but unfortunately would find some trouble here as his putt rims off and nearly rolls out of bounds. Unfortunately, can't make the comebacker, but does salvage the third. And here on 17, no love from the basket. He would finish strong though and cling onto that lead card spot. Here is your leaderboard heading into round three. Calvin Heimberg, Josh Anton, Aston Hannum, Nate Sexton round out that lead card. Joel Freeman, Andrew Presno, Kel LaVisca, and Paul Omen are gonna be on that Central Coast chase card. Thank you so much for watching the recaps. Make sure to check out all your major media partners for coverage all weekend long.